Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Uh, sorry for this um, delay since the previous episode. I had a wisdom tooth out, and I haven't been the best uh, as a result. I'm all okay now, though. It's just, it just caused me a few problems. I didn't really get around to making many videos, plus my day job uh, was getting in the way. So it's been about a week, I think, since I made a video. However, I have been doing some bits in the background. So. Let's go and have a look. So I think the first things first is, let's see what I have done to my rocket. Yes, I have rebuilt my rocket. And he should be on my launch pad, waiting for some fuel. I have launched it once. I was very low on fuel. Um, no, we can't really see with... Oh, they can see it through the the dust of the storm. Yes, there's a storm going on. Um, so my rocket is there. One thing I have been having problems with is is this bloody lever. So my umbilicals aren't extending. When I do that, I need to find out why that's happening. Um, that is under here. Leave. Take him off. And laptop. Grab that chip, plug them in, import, edit. So I define the three umbilicals um, by their IDs. So I replace these, but for some reason it's just it's not working. So I think what I'm going to do is rather than do that, I'm just going to put a bat right to the um, umbilicals, the various umbilicals. So Instead of uh, save to device, I say save to batch. Um, that open will be replaced by which one's that fuel umbilical? So let's go umbilical fuel umbilical power liquid gas gas. It's that one. It's gas umbilical, and it's uh, prefab hash. Is that? Okay, so let's edit. Power low. edit the program. So yeah, so that wants to be the prefab hash. And that should do the same thing. Um, yield SB, oh, I don't know what that one is, I can't remember. I could alias... Actually, you know what, I can... Alias fuel umbilical oh, do I do I don't I no I'm not I'm not I'll just put the free fire passion free fire passion here it was more complicating it more otherwise so I can get it rid of that there's a shoot and then there's the electrical so let's get rid of them don't need them anymore um, so shoot, now let's just what the shoot is, F1, go back, um, shoot umbilical is that, oh do I need that one, I need that one, that's why I'll need to do the same with the other one, okay let's uh, close that. Paste that one, confirm, let's just do it again for the fuel gas umbilical umbilical gas that one there, it's that I'll need to place that one otherwise I'm referencing the wrong thing and finally power uh, F1 Back power umbilical, it's that one there. Close that, edit, paste up there. Right, that should work. Uh, load R10 with umbilical lever setting. 
The Bullet Gleaver is set up already. Export. Oh, thank goodness for that storm stopped. Why aren't you extending? Why, why, why? They've got power and everything because I can actually do it manually. So hit that and extend. I don't know why they're not working with C. Oh, hush. And you. Did I miss something when I moved the unit from here? I don't think so. That's the door. It's a grating. What don't you like? Line 12. Okay, complaining about line 12. Let's see what line 12 is. Doesn't like that one. Okay, so that one was the... That was a power, that was a gas, that was a shoot. Um, open, yeah. Left, centre, right. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> I'm being stupid. I've saved batch, not saved device. Confirm. Export. Right, it's all green. Oh, and we've all extended. There we go. But now why is it not closing? Why aren't you closing? Have I missed a jump somewhere? So main yield, yeah, we'll help pose one. Pause, pause one. Load batch, sorry, load our term with umbilical lever setting. So when that's open, it should be one. Save to them. Uh, fuel on yield. So I just wait another one if R, sorry, load R zero with the pressure. Set the LED to the setting R0, so it displays the pressure. That loads the fuel lever. Break less than 5, for the break less than 1, so if that's 0, jump to main, so it should run through. So that's looping fine. Uh, break greater than... strange I'm missing something really stupid here it was working by the way it, it was all working um, fuel pressure analyzer fuel pressure LED fuel plump one oh that's set the fuel plump that's um, turn the fuel pumps off I think yeah it's the same number see so that's to turn the fuel pumps off and I'll turn it back on again. So break greater than so if the pressure is greater than five thousand, then jump to main and it'll run through and the branch greater than isn't it? If not, turn the pump on. Yeah, now it just turns it off straight away, doesn't it? Okay, and then fuel on. If it's less than 50,000, sorry, not 5,000, so that should be okay. So that's running through there, really, isn't it? So I could 
could put to see if it's going to change this. Yeah, that was it. it. Was getting stuck in the loop because this is less than fifty thousand. All it means now is these pumps will flick on and off like that. I'll sort it out later. I'm gonna have to mess around with the stop this coding just to. I just need to make it so that when that is closed, when that's closed, I can retract them. Yeah, I've sort of got it working. I know what I'm doing. I know what the issue is. I will sort it out offline. Um, so yeah, I've got my rocket again. Same setup as previously, just a, a mixed fuel mixture. One of the problems I had is I ran out of fuel. I can put this flooring back down now, can't I? Come on. And this grating. Oh, this panels, that was a grating. This is panels. Cool. Right. And you can go in my backpack for now. So I know what I need to do to sort that out. Right. So what else have I changed? Oh yeah, let's go up here a minute. I've changed a bit of, a little bit of here. So as you remember, I set up the, uh, my landing pads on a runway so I can call in a big plane, which I've done again. Um, I realised it was the plane taking off that destroyed my uh, heat exchangers here. So I've just moved them over that way, but it now clears them. Um, I have moved the heat exchange, the wind turbines that were here, are now down here, and I've replaced the ones that were destroyed. And I've rebuilt my wind turbine, and I may build another one. Uh, are you? Yeah. Oh, why are you off? You're completely flat. Completely flat. I need some fuel. I need some coal. I think in there to boost that up again. Oh, you should be really charged with the storm. I've connected the right one, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're all connected through. Hmm. Why aren't you charging? Have we got any coal on me? No, let's go get some coal. I'll just throw some coal in the... Because I've got tons of coal. I've got 218. Um, I'll throw some coal in the solid fuel burner for now. It's not ideal, but it just keeps me going. This is some of the problem. These are in shade from my building at the beginning of the day as well. Mind you, it is the sort of start of the day, isn't it? So... Let's just put two in for now and I'll hold on to the rest. It might be that it'll all charge up throughout the day. I've certainly got enough power, um, solar cells there to charge everything. In here, what else did I change? I changed something else, I can't think what it was. Uh, you can go walkies again. Right, what else did I change? I changed something and I can't think what the hell it was. Well, that's the same, well, that's the same. Ah, uh, I know what it was, <laughs> by looking in there. So, um, I have sent my rocket at once. It came back with 40 stacks of 100 units of ice. Space ice, and I know this is all hydrogen, or fuel volatiles. So I have built a chute from here, because obviously it's easier. If I try and take it out, it drops on the floor. Unless it's night, it starts um, evaporating. So I build a chute through here, that's why it's orange through, round and round, to this ice crusher here. Now this ice crusher just feeds into this tank. This tank is isolated by that pump and that pump. So when I have, once I finish crushing all that ice and it's in here, um, if it's hydrogen, 
I will vent it through this system to fuel my hydrogen tank. If it is oxygen to nitrogen, I'll vent it through this one into my oxygen nitrogen filtration system. So that's what I've done. That was the other change I did. Um, and I currently have quite a bit of gas in here. So I'm actually going to open that turbo pump in a moment. So there's some really low vo uh, level nitrogen and oxygen in there. Um, but they will be taken out by that this uh, filtration system here. And they'll just vent them because there's nothing really to it. And that was a uh, one I put in when I accidentally uh, put the wrong gas in there. So right, so this is 13.4 kilomoles of volatiles basically, and 0 0.093 mole of oxygen, or 0 0.019 mole of nitrogen. So yeah, that minuscule amount of nitrogen and oxygen. So let's uh, make sure this is the right way. Turn you on. You're whacked up to 100. So the pressure in here should start going up quite rapidly. Yeah, 150, 160, 70, 80. Which means you should turn on, which you have. And means that my rocket should now start refueling if I want to open lever. So this should be going up. Yeah. It's, well, it's fluctuating because it's pumping it. Um, extend umbilicals. And then um, start pumping. And that will now start pumping gas into my rocket. And if I go to the rocket, we shall see that these numbers are going up, which they are. So, like I said, simple. As I said, the setup's the same as last time. I have a small gas tank feeding the engines and I have a, um, a volume pump feeding that gas tank. It pressurizes the gas tank to 50 megapascals, which is why it's groaning, which you might hear groaning. It's, it's fine, it'll last forever at that. It's only if you go above 60, it actually it degrades it. It just complains between 50 and 60. Um, so yeah, that's the same as last time. So then I've got two medium tanks where the this gas has all been going into at the moment. And they then feed the pump, which feeds that small tank. Um, and everything else is the same as last time. We've got scanner, uh, avionics, circuit housing to control the um, the pump with the press by monitoring the pressure in that tank. Uh, of cargo storage and a rocket miner and a medium battery. What I'd like to do, which I don't think I can, I'd like to put a um, another medium battery in this, but I just don't think I've got the space. So quick one. Could I fit another medium battery in here? Yeah, it's really groaning at the minute. But don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I don't think we've got space for another medium battery. You know, let's go build one. If I haven't, I haven't. There's no harm in trying. I just close that so I don't forget next time the storm comes. Um, let's spend a couple more of them into the network so the so they get turned into fuel. Right, what's it going to build? Battery. That was it. <laughs> Rocket battery. I need two of these kits, I think. Or is it three? I think it's two. Oh, what about solder? I've got some solder somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's two. That's okay. I will need some electronics parts, I believe. Right, let's just quickly go back and uh, see if I can put this in our rocket. Yeah, I don't want to lose my rocket again because I forget it for five minutes. That was just really bloody frustrating, quite frankly. My stupidity and I lost a rocket. 
Um, oh, stop groaning. Oh, I'm not going to get that in anyway, am I? There's just no. Oh, I saw it go green there somewhere. There it went green. But can I wire that in? I need to flip it that way. cabling into there no because that cable's in the way I can't move out of because that's in the way could I get the battery there Take this off. And it's if I can get the cabling into the top of here from the bottom of here. Can do this. No, not let me take it up that way. Um, okay. Is there anywhere else I can take it up? I can bring it through here, but I don't think I can take it up here, can I? Oh, it's all too tight. that cable I could rotate that by yep I think I know what I need to do so I need to actually take this one out and drill Four electrical parts, okay. Uh, wire cutters. And then hand drill again. Come on, you know you're going to fit in there. Um, right, I need. That's it, that way. No, that's wrong, it's upside down. like so. That means I can get rid of... where's it? Cable cutters. You and you and replace you with a straight. I need cables. I need four those and a screwdriver and then I need the cable coming out the back here which is the network connection okay so that takes that up there how then do I get that power bring that round there and back and round that way but how do I get the power from here down to there could I move you I could move you forward one 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, oh, don't cave in. What do I need? And then wire cutters. build you here come on All right way All right thank you doesn't matter about that connection there uh, Screwdriver and electrical parts. And cabling, cabling, and wire cutters. To connect you into there. So you're still connected to that side. You're connected to there, to there, to there. You're connected to there. You're connected to there. All I need to do is move this, I think. Move you. Put you there, like that. Connect you to there. Connect you to there. So that's a power coming in. That's a power going out. And that's your network connection. Right, I just need some more electrical parts. I think I've got that. I think that's everything connected. I'll do a double check when I go back. I need some three more electrical parts. Yeah, so I've got 4,000 units of um, volatiles, which I thought was quite good. Somebody's in there. One, two, that's three. That's what we need. There we go. All the way back up there. Cable coils. And you, you're on. Connected. You're on, you're connected. You're connected through there, through there. Top of there, top of there. All that's all connected up to there. And then down. Through there, down there. All that is connected through there into there. So that's everything connected. That's a good. It is working. I have done it. Woohoo! Right, let me just replace these panels. That's 45, which is what I set it to for refueling. So if I check this, is that still going up? 46, what I set it to actually? I can't remember. Let's have a look into programming, that's the easiest way. Was it 50 or 45? Oh, 50. 50. And we're still getting fuel coming through, so still making fuel at the moment. Um, I need to reprogram you because I've taken the uh, logic unit, I replaced the logic unit. So now if I click on you, uh, battery 64, because I've now got two batteries in there. 
battery medium and battery medium and that one's charging okay plenty of fuel what we're we up to now you know what that will do let's set our destination Um, actually, Hunger, caution. let's set the nation there. I've mined that one quite a bit. I've mined that one quite a bit. Let's go to this one. Um, looks like I've mined that one as well. So, what about that one? No, I haven't beaten that one yet. Um, Tracked our umbilicals. Uh, gas pressures 50. Rocket scanners off. Cargo scanners off. Miners off. Volume pumps off. Let's go! And off he goes. Boom. Gone. That thing just leaps off the launch pad. Okay, let's give that five minutes to reach its destination. In the meantime, I will go and... Um, how's this doing? It's still going. What I should have done is put a... I'm going to drop a load if I do that. Put a window in here. I think when it gets tonight, I'm going to put a window in there. So I can see how much is in the system. But if there's a few in there at the moment, it'll, it'll drop on the floor. How are you doing? Yeah, it, it's pretty much just pumping everything out straight into the big tank. See, that's only just... that, that must be switching on and off, is it? Yeah. So that is actually need to get up to 50 for that to turn on. And um, we haven't got the pressure in the system at the moment. Oh, that's turned on quickly because I uh, dropped another unit into there, and that's my light run out. Oh, let's go. Let's replace that battery. Uh, something else I did um, was I dumped a load more fuel into these two as well, which is why I put I put this on so I could dump uh, several units in at once. And we've now got 2.3.2 uh, and 4.8, because that was down to less than sorry, that was down to less than one megapascal. So that was, that was in fear of running out, and that one actually drives my centrifuge here and my furnace. Which I can vent. So battery, battery, battery. I need a battery for my belt. I also need a battery for my welding torch. And how is my soup battery doing? Power critical. Is that done? Um. One thing I've been looking at is I put a chip in here. This is in my suit. Uh, I might look at setting it up so when I leave here and the pressure drops below a certain temperature, um, the the helmet will close. I'm also contemplating putting an airlock here, or actually making a tunnel here, make this whole thing into an airlock, just about. Uh, maybe with a large vacuum uh, volume pump, so it drains it quick. So from here across, maybe it's here. Don't know. I've decided yet. Um, and another airlock here. Or turning this into an airlock here, so I can still get it here. Um, 
problem I've got is my my lift is a vent effectively. I can't seal this area off because of my lift. Now I've got if I go up. I've got that wall sealed, I've got the top sealed, I've got that wall sealed, but I haven't got this sealed. And I'm not really sure how we can do that. I've been thinking about it. Can I put a door on there? Actually I've got a wall here. Let's no. I need a door kit. Let me go and get a door kit. Well, am I going to have to rotate my lift so I can put a airlock on it? Um, what am I after? Door kit. Door kit. Turn my suit light off, that'll help. Uh, door kit. It's whether it will this will work or not, I don't know. Do we turn that off? I want to eject that. Now I can do it here as much as I can upstairs. See so that'll not let me do that or that. It'll let me do a roller door, but that's not gas proof. And it won't let me put a manual door in there, so there's nothing I can do to seal it. No. So the only thing I can think of doing is building an airlock here. Now I could rotate it. I could just build it here with two doors. A I have to move that cabling obviously. A door there and a door there. Hmm. Or I could just put a door there. Then I've got to come out and go round. And I put an airlock there with another door. And I have to put an airlock over there as well. And another one down here. Hmm, it's a lot of airlocks. At least then I could pressurize this. Or I could enclose all of this down to here. Make the whole, th and then just have one airlock, say here or here, to come out. That's an idea. That is an idea. And I just build a wall along. Here. Ooh, can I build a wall along here with my? Comes. Yeah, I can actually. And I can still get my buttons. That's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. If I put a window there, I can still get to them and still turn them on and off. You know what? I think that's what we do. Ah, that's my next thing: to enclose all of this, one big airlock. Have an airlock there. Um. I can get. I can. I'm going to close that anyway, so that will just be a room in there. So I don't need to worry about that. I've taken the window out here, by the way. I'm already intending to close along here and down here. I've already sealed all the flooring in here. Make this into an airlock. You know what? I can just get rid of that door there. Put a wall there. Just put an airlock here to get out. Get out this way. Don't worry about coming out there or there. I'm going to pressurise all this. Pressurise all that. Have all that pressurised. I'll have some interior doors just to stop some gas venting. And then all this can be easily pressurised. I mean, there's nothing here to stop me pressurising all this already. 
You know, if I cloak and put an airlock there, I can pressurise all of this. And I'm halfway here with the airlock. I just, you know what, I just need to put a, a door in there. And that'll be an airlock. Obviously, I need the gas. Um, Hydration critical. The, the gas pumps and things, but that's easy done. Then what do I do about my... I have to move that outside, I think, because I mean, I'm drawing in gas from motion atmosphere. And over here, I know there's a door here, but intend to seal all this as well and expand out here and put another airlock over here. So there's a few airlocks I can put in. Um, I might put a blast door over there. But I would have to seal in Amy with probably uh, get rid of that door, don't need it. Got a way out over there. So just put an airlock in here so I can get, get to Amy if I need be. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's our next thing is to start building our base out again, sealing some of the rooms up and building some, uh, making it a bit more habitable so I don't have to run around with a helmet on all the time. Um, how I distribute the gas, I'll have to work it out as we go along. Obviously I've only got this one air conditioning unit here at the moment to keep the temperature down. But we can replicate that easy enough. Yeah, I think we'll do that next time. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments uh, uh, below. I do have a Patreon page if you'd like to support me. Uh, but for now, it's a Dragonfly Game. I wish you good night.